All right, welcome back. So today I'm going to do a quick um, unboxing video for um, a Vivor reclaim machine. So yeah, they uh, sent me this over. So shout out to Vivor for um, sending me out, sending this out to me for a review. Appreciate it. Um, so what we're going to do is quickly pop it open. Let's see what we're working with here. Check the reviews on Amazon. Looked to be a pretty decent looking um, rig. This isn't really going to be a review on the item. I am going to do a proper review on it, but this is more of a open it up and see what, see what it's like. Got one box down. Let's go ahead and shoe into this one. So it says oilless compressor. That's cool. Multiple refrigerant compatibility. One key operation. Self cleaning feature, which prevents control um, cross contamination. So let's see. Now let's go ahead and take a look here on the specs. So here on the side we've got this the model RR250. No, no, no. Sorry, this is the RR500. I see there, so they got the little red indicator. So that's a 110, yeah. Three quarter horsepower, oilless piston style. Oh, sweet. They got the automatic safety shutoff. That's cool. So recovery rate and vapor versus liquid. And then you also have push pull. So they got all the rates there. That's pretty nice. Um, same on this side. So let's take a look and see what we've got here. Got the uh, owner's manual here. And there's a screen. That's for your uh, pre-filter. Also got a little hose here. Uh, that's just kind of... Oh, cool. I bet this is a filter dryer, I'd imagine, right? Nice. That's pretty cool that they send that with it. A lot of, uh, even the more expensive units don't send those. Dang! That thing is heavy. That has to be one of the heaviest recovering machines I've actually come across. Um, I'm hoping that's... The positive as far as you know how stout this thing is built maybe but you're definitely not going to be wanting to get this thing in and out of the truck all this plastic out of here oh wow that is something I have Okay. All right, so there she goes. Pretty straightforward. Let's see here. Got a nice quick on off start button there. Um, look at that. Slow recover, so some sort of governor here. Fast recover, purge, off. Then you've got your in, out. You know, got your compound gauges here. 15 amp reset. That's pretty nice. And what I'm going to quickly do, I want to plug this sucker up. And see if she's holding pressure. Uh, please, please, please clean the filter screen after each use. So that's pretty decent. But yeah, this thing is definitely going to be one of the heavier recovering machines I've out, I've come across. Let me see here. It's not terribly heavy, but it's it's heavy. I'm not going to lie about it. Okay, so I'm going to quickly get a plug to plug this thing in. 
Make sure it holds pressure. Do a quick little test here, standing test. And uh, that'll just be it for today. I'm not going to go too crazy into the review. There's not really much to see. We've got, you can see our condenser coil here up front. And back here, got a nice big condenser fan motor. It's pretty crazy. The big size of that motor in there. And then the fan blade is pretty big as well. This thing might be pretty stout. I'm not going to lie about it. It might be, have a pretty rapid rate of recovery. Just based off the actual size of that fan. And this condenser is not that big. but So yeah, let me go quickly get an extension cord. And we're going to see if we can start her up real quick. Alright, so I got her all plugged up here. It was just simple cord in the back. Plugs in just like a vacuum pump or whatever. So now what we're going to go ahead and do, let's hit the start button, see what we get. So we're building up pressure. It looks like. Put her in pull. Put her in purge mode to see. So yeah, looks good. It's working. Kinda. I was pulling in the air here and it's just got it going on the high side. I wanna let that pressure out. goes this thing actually actually seems pretty crisp it actually operates really strong motor feels nice and strong i love this quick single dial operation it kind of reminds you of the field piece the um, i forgot the model but the newer reclaim machine they do with just got the one single dial so i like that they took that inspiration it doesn't have the digital display or anything it's got the standard classic analog gauges but that's not, I mean, that's fine for me. I don't need all that digital stuff anyway, so. Seems pretty sweet. It really seems pretty, pretty usable. I'm not going to lie about it. Ooh, that was a quick accident. But um, what we're going to wind up doing is, I'm not going to put it through its paces today. This is just a quick unboxing. Just try to, you know, see how it works. They even put a little plastic here on the, on the power button, so. But yeah, it seems like a pretty decent machine. Only thing, ugh, only gripe I've got with it so far. Let's check the weight on this thing. No joke. Got our little cheapo scale here. I'm gonna zero her out. I can barely lift it with one hand onto the scale, so you know it's no joke. Zero the scale out. Thirty-five pounds. I mean, I must be getting weak. Yeah, that feels a heck of a lot heavier than thirty-five pounds, but it's probably the angle in which I'm trying to lift it. But uh, let's get the let's get the field piece and see what that weighs. Alrighty, so we're zeroed out. Feels way lighter. Look at that. Ten pounds difference. That's twenty-three pounds. Literally less, more than 10 pounds difference. About 12 pounds. Look how easy I can take that in on and off. I know it wasn't going crazy. Compared to this, yeah, I see that struggle on. You would never think 10 pounds made that much of a difference. Now let's go grab my, this one actually might, this one actually might beat all of them right here. That's the back of rack stinger. Ooh, look at that, very nice. 23.72 pounds. So a little, a little less than 24 pounds. It's my personal rig here. And look at that pawn shop sticker. Now we do. I don't buy my stuff um, new. But either way, this is um. Oh whoa! Let's get that off of there. So yeah, I came across this at a pawn shop the other week. 
I think I paid one fifty for. I got them to knock uh, fifty dollars off the price. Not not a bad price for a stinger in this condition. But um, so yeah, that weighs twenty three point seven, and then once again, field piece. 23.27 so the field piece is the lightest overall <clears throat> so yes the field piece mr. 45 mr. 45 v really nice uh, reclaim machine I'm gonna wind up doing a, a shoot up between all three of them and see which one performs the quickest which one pulls you know I've got a Actually, Vivar sent me a reclaim tank as well, so I'm going to have to test that thing anyway. So I'm going to quickly go ahead and um, I'm not going to do that on this video. That'll be the next video. This is just an unboxing. Quickly check the weight on this thing. We got 30, 34 pounds, almost 35 pounds. She's a beast, but hopefully, like I said, I'm hoping that that's um, you know, a testament of its durability. Uh, not just its engine. Not, not just... Maybe it's just being under engineered, but um, like I said, it's got the quick valve, like the field piece. You can see here, field piece has the same. They've got recover, self purge, close, and this actually has one more option because a lot of times you're gonna want to have, especially when doing 410, um, when you when you're recovering liquid with 410, you want to sometimes be able to govern that refrigerant coming in just so that way you're not slugging the compressor back. So that's a really cool feature. Field piece probably has built-in uh, automatic feature built in to keep that from happening. But uh, I know for the Stinger, it even says in the manual, sometimes you want to kind of um, regulate this this um, input valve and uh, keep it from slugging, slugging the actual internal compressor. So I like that it does have a slow recover uh, function on there. It's got our automatic shutoffs and everything. So it's probably a pretty sweet little rig, man. Can't wait to put it to the test. But... Uh, other than that, let me know what you guys think. And um, I think that's it for today. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.